and I just got one more thing to say. How about them Cowboys? What's going on, Cowboy Nation and angry Cowboy fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan here on YouTube, hitting you with another video. First, I gotta ask you guys to forgive me. I gotta ask for your forgiveness ahead of time because I'm gonna skip the formalities and I'm gonna get into these clips. This is not gonna be the typical ACF video, so just get ready for a rant. After watching first take today and already releasing a video on the same episode, I saw the interview between Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, Molly Curum, and Demarcus Lawrence of the Dallas Cowboys. So let's take a listen to the first clip, then we're going to come back and start this rant. All right, Angry Cowboys fans, let's take a listen. You mentioned how you wish your team was here. Mm -hmm. What happened and why your team isn't here? Uh, all honesty, I think the main thing is we was burned out, man. Uh, you know, long season, um, team dominantly healthy throughout the season. You know, um, the legs get tired. But also, um, you know, you got to give hats off to Green Bay, man. They came out with a great game plan, um, you know, rolling out towards Micah and then running away from me. I feel like, you know, that's that's what they needed to you know get their game started and they jumped on us fast and what about adjustments? Yeah, adjustments, man. Uh, you know, feel like we went in the locker room and you know we came out you know ready with our adjustments, but uh, still didn't go the way that we planned it to go. When you say you're retired in a long season, I mean it's not like mm. D. Law. You guys played like 18, 19 games, yeah. and the other teams played 40 games. Yeah, everybody had played the same number of games up until that point. Yeah, and we've seen this over the last couple of years with you guys play really good in the regular season, and then in the playoffs we don't see that same intensity. We don't see that same ferocity. We don't see, see that same offensive juggernaut and the defensive staple. What seems to happen once playoffs roll around? Man, if I had answers, you know, <laughs> shoot, we'll be in the Super Bowl right now. You were burnt out. Your legs got tired. Why wasn't y'all tired the week prior when y'all stomped the Washington Commanders? Why weren't y'all tired then? Was it the fact that the Washington Commanders were tomato cans and you knew you could go in there and get it done? Is it that you knew that they had the number two pick in the draft and they had to secure it by a loss? What got y'all so tired going up against the Green Bay Packers? I don't know about being tired because some of your teammates had a planned victory party after the game, so I don't know if it was being tired or not. They had enough energy to want to go party afterwards. Okay, let's get into this second clip so we can continue this rant because I got some stuff I need to get off my chest about this entire situation. The early exit from the playoffs, Dan Quinn's exit from the organization, and now this interview with the star of the damn team? Man, just roll the clip. How legitimate, how off-kilter are we when we bring that level of skepticism or cynicism to the quarterback and to the coaching for the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, man, uh, that's a hard pill to swallow. Uh, you know, I have the utmost faith in my quarterback um, each and every time he step on the field. Um, you know, one thing, you know, that I can't accept is, you know, like Shannon said, adjustments. Um, right. You know, us being able to see what's going on and being able to make those adjustments so we can go out, you know, and um, have a great game. But, right. uh, yeah, man, I got the utmost faith in my quarterback. You know, right. um, I, I believe in his work ethic and um, what he does right. each and every game. And, yeah. I also asked you about your coach. How you feel about your coach? Oh, man, uh, you know, got the utmost respect for Mike. Um, I know he's going to do a great job putting a good uh, group of coaches together. One saving grace in this interview is his take on Dak Prescott. Other than that, this interview was shit. It kind of sucked, but it's putting a lot into perspective for me. 
From the loss to the Green Bay Packers and the way we lost to them to the video that surfaced of Dan Quinn telling Commanders fans that he was their new coach in week 18. And now the common word that keeps popping up in this interview, adjustments. I'm really starting to see some funny business here, Cowboys Nation. Did Dan Quinn really leave and throw up the middle finger walking out the door? Because that's what it feels like. On Michael Parsons' podcast, The Edge, he talked about being out-schemed and not put in proper positions to succeed. Mix that all down with the fact that the players were physically tired means coaching was lax and the players' stamina and endurance wasn't a huge issue. It ain't just on the coaching, though. If you're tired and worn out by the start of the playoffs, how will we ever get over the hump and get to a Super Bowl? If you're tired, maybe conditioning, stamina, endurance, and strength training needs to be a priority during the season. If you're tired, maybe Dak can hook you up with a discount for a sleep number mattress so you can get some sleep. Whatever it takes. But this is alarming. Whatever it is, cost the Dallas Cowboys a shot at the divisional round and the possible NFC championship appearance. I also truly think that we had a sleeper cell in Cowboys Nation in the Dallas Cowboys locker room toward the end of the season. I'm sorry, but the league should ban coaching interviews until after the team is either eliminated from the playoffs or you went to the Super Bowl and now it's the offseason. Then they should be able to handle business when it comes to coaches. The league has a rule about talking to players before free agency starts. They need to implement that same type of rule when it comes to the coaches. I stated it before. How in the hell is Dan Quinn telling Commanders fans that he is their new coach before the team he is currently on faces his new employer? Then we magically get boat raced in the wild card round of the playoffs by the Green Bay Packers, the seventh seed Green Bay Packers. Shit seems funny to me, y'all. With things like this happening, the defense being out schemed, no adjustments being made to counter their offensive strategy, purposely undersizing hybrid linebackers, cornerbacks playing 12 to 15 yards off of their man, blown coverages, getting beat on the play action the whole night. Then this Washington Commanders fan video surfaced, and now the Dallas Cowboys having to block Dan Quinn and the Commanders from trying to hire our tight end coach? Taking shots at Jerry Jones in his first interview as a commander's head coach? It's not the interview from Demarcus Lawrence that has me pissed off. It's the thought of Dan Quinn trying to stick it to the Dallas Cowboys headed out the door to a division rival that makes my blood boil. For a second, I actually thought that losing Dan Quinn might be more harm than good. Now... I'm freaking happy this dude is gone, and I hope we kick the shit out of the Commanders each and every time we play them. This has been your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan. What did you feel about the interview with Demarcus Lawrence? Should he take the approach of not answering a question if he doesn't agree with it? Let me know your answer in the comments section. If you're new to the channel and you're digging the content, drop a like on the video because it helps us with the algorithms to get this content out to even more Dallas Cowboy fans. If you're really digging the content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can stay up to date with the Angry Cowboys fan whenever I go live or whenever I release a video. We got rid of the sleeper cell, guys. Now we got Mike Zimmer coming in here. Let's see what the Dallas Cowboys defense can do for the 2024 season. And let's go into Washington and kick the shit out of the commanders and Dan Quinn. Until then, this has been your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan. And I'm out.